A sure wish the only survivor of the genus Therapithecus was a little better looking. The gelato baboon, that's right, gelato, not to be confused with ice cream's fancy cousin known as gelato, best resembles a pillow that seems fuzzy but probably isn't. See, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Gelato baboons are the only primates that live in high elevation, which is basically equivalent to all the people who lived in Colorado before it became trendy. They stay in Ethiopian highlands, and there are only about 250,000 of them. In 2018, more than 7 million people watched Notre Dame destroy Michigan. That's 28 times the whole population. But it's okay. I bet Michigan doesn't even have 250,000 fans. They live on plateaus near cliffs, and the weather can get pretty dicey up there. In the wet season, there are hailstorms, and in the dry season, there's frost. Unlike the Midwest, they don't get both in one day. The gelatas are the only graminivorous primate, which is their deceptive attempt to hide the fact that they eat grass, just like cattle, and just like you probably did when you were three. It's rather unfortunate that a vegan's namesake is so similar to a delicious dairy dessert. That's right, I did make two gelato jokes. Hyenas, dogs, leopards, and foxes are baboon's primary predators, but most population loss is from human-induced habitat loss and degradation. Agriculture and global climate change limit the size of the habitat and the amount of montane grass those primates love so much. Baboons have a social hierarchy where one male is in charge of a reproductive unit with one to 12 females. That kind of sounds like week three of The Bachelor, right? And of course, one to three subordinate males. The alpha typically stays for four to five years. Thank God The Bachelor season doesn't run that long. Aggression within a reproductive group isn't very frequent but occasionally females fight between reproductive groups. Females have their own hierarchy where ladies with the best reproductive success are at the top and are closest friends with females of similar social status, like the plastics in Mean Girls. Females stay in these reproductive units their whole lives, about 14 years. This is as long as Hall Batgirl, Gold Digger, and Mr. Brightside have been around. What happens to the rest of the males, you ask? They're part of an all-male group. With over 30 different kinds of vocalizations, these guys are like your favorite boy band, the Monkees, no pun intended. Then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. The pale patch on their throats show they're not currently mating. There are two ways to become alpha male of a reproductive unit. A baboon can kick the other guy's butt and take over, or they can take some females from the other group and start their own unit. A lot of baboons are constantly communicating and signaling to one another. They don't have iPhones, but they still manage to make four types of calls. See, they laughed at my dad joke. Aspirated calls are for threatening situations and are typically accompanied by a lip flip, where their upper lip rolls back to defend or fight for supremacy. The ladies have a special call of their own during estrus to tell males, hey, I'm finally as horny as you are. If the male doesn't hear her, he can see her. Estrus is visible. Because baboons sit on their bums all day, they show estrus on their chest and lips. An hourglass-shaped patch of skin develops on their chest, which helped on them the name Bleeding Heart Baboon, and their lips get redder too. This is much more subtle than chimps and bonobos. No wonder the guys find the ladies so mysterious. The patches have little fluid-filled vesicles around them that emit an olfactory smell to attract mates. I'm not really sure why the guys are into it, but, you know, teach their own. Females point and raise their bum towards males, moving their tail to the side in female solicitation posture, which is the baboon equivalent of a bend and snap. You know it has a 100% success rate. Only the alpha male can copulate with females in estrus, and they do two to five times per day for 37.3 days. Each estrus. Sheesh! If copulation is successful, baboons gestate for six months. Like human babies, they're pretty much useless the first few months of life. They're carried eventually for five weeks, but shift to a respected piggyback until the five-month mark, where they basically walk on their own. All right, guys, too long, didn't read. Basically, baboons look like the rest of us on an exam day. Their hair's kind of a mess. They only live in Ethiopia on the highlands, 
Their social structure is complex, with hierarchies for both females and males. Female reproduction revolves around estrus, and their babies are cute as hell. Thanks, guys.